Good morning, class. I am Professor Hatter. Today in class, we are doing an unboxing, uh, multiple unboxings. Uh, we have the same store that shipped three hats in three separate boxes, an eBay hat, and this hat we're going to get into later. Um, we're going to focus on these four, four hats today. Um, a f they're not really new hats. They're It's more like playing catch-up for, you know, class and for my collection. So this is a newer hat, but we're going to save this for later, actually. We're going to focus on these four hats here. So for this hat, so for this hat, we're going to not use it today. We're going to have a separate video for it because it deserves its own video with one, I think, two, two other hats that it'll go with. So I'm just going to, hold on. Hold on. We're going to make the hat box disappear. We're going to be fancy about this. Alright, so with the snap of my finger, I'll we make the box disappear. Watch this, class. Yeah, I keep snapping those fingers. the hell is going on? This a, this, can we fix this in post-production? Come on, it's supposed to be disappearing. Damn it. Those fingers don't work anymore. Damn it. Other fingers. Other fingers. Damn it. Get on. Not doing anything. Classic. a bigger haul than I expected. I didn't expect um, Macy's to send my three hats in three different boxes. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure that they came... Oh, actually. Wait, if this was... This is a... Okay, two of them came from Vegas, the Henderson uh, plant, and then one came from Jacksonville. They have... Jacksonville, they have the kind of their, Jacksonville and Henderson, Las Vegas, um, is Henderson is like a suburb of Las Vegas, and they would also have because Macy's is under lid under the monopolistic assholery sum of Fanatics, which lives has a um, headquarters kind of warehouse out of Indianapolis, so. Um, kind of surprised, I mean, if they're coming from separate places, fine, but if they're coming from the same place, then it should just be one box then. So, I don't know what, what is, two of them are fit hats, one is a dad hat, this is a, either, it's not a dad hat, it's, it's a hat, let's put it that way, it's eBay, so that's why it's really small. So, let's get into this one, to carefully open these boxes, so just in case my, first skit didn't turn out so well, I can repackage them and reuse them for uh, for a, another filming session, just just in case, you know. So, now this hat I, you know, wanted in general, just for my team, but I also want it for a upcoming video, it's not really upcoming, it's still in, in the brain process, um, but... This was the 2015 Blackhawks Conference Championship hats. So when they won over the Kings in 2015, they wore these hats. Um, kind of simple. On the back, the Stanley Cup logo. Um, it feels crooked, but it's not... Oh my, yeah, that's crooked. But that's not... The, that's the manufacturing. It, it. Someone, someone, tell me if that looks crooked. Some or no, someone agree with me, please, that this looks crooked, or am I just crazy? If you really, if you really look at it, and like head on, I'll try to get like a, a front-facing picture of it. Um, material is nice. It's kind of like a, it's a heavier mesh on this one. It's not like a light mesh. It's heavy. It's got snaps in the back. Pretty standard for 
these locker room hats. Um, so I got the NHL sticker on here. Um, kind of some indentations on the front here, but I mean, one is from eBay, two, someone else had owned it for a while, so it's a Blackhawks hat, so pretty cool. Pretty nice to have and add this uh, for my upcoming video purposes. So we'll set that aside. All right, so I'm going to open the Jacksonville hat first. And then it is a Jacksonville Jaguars hat or Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimps hat. Um, but I'm almost guessing it's the dip it's not. But I like it. Gotta be careful. All right, so this hat took a while to get. Oh, 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 oh. nice. The Miami Marlins. Their City Connect hats. Uh, this one took a while because this had been out of stock, and I had seen that through Macy's that they that. I don't know if it was like a special sale or if it was I had built up enough points, but I had <sighs> but I had discounts where I could get these hats. They were like forty-five dollars, and they're like thirty some dollars when checking out. So um, also great that this is a low profile. Um, I don't, know, I don't know if it's me, but this the crown looks crooked on here. Bangladesh, I was going to guess, like, Haiti? Could they would do something like that. Um, more vibrant of a blue, electric blue, than I would have imagined. Shit. If it's big... See, because there's another City Connect hat in one of these boxes. So, this kind of sucks. I mean, it, it's, it's a little noticeable. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's not like snug, like I was, like I was thinking and expecting, where some of my other City Connect hats that I've bought that are 50 and 50 fitted, or that I have, one of them was a gift, because I did not want to spend my own money on a brewer's hat. And then I broke my own rule. The seven and a half fit tight. And tight where I could stretch it, but it probably wouldn't be enough. So I'm like, alright, I'm going to size up to a five eighth then. And this being low profile, it's going to work out great. I don't know, because I just took a shower and my hair is still kind of like smooth. But it just feels loose. I, I, I don't know. So, I mean, this this has more for just because I have it. I might not. I'll have to double check to see if they still have like maybe a half on the page. So these two. So let's figure out why Macy's decided that shipping two hats from the same place in separate boxes would make sense. Okay, so this is the other one. This is the dad hat in here. But well, I'm starting to regret this dad hat because of what team it is. This year it's going to be hard to be a fan for this team because compared to the Bears, where with this team, we have high expectations for them. We got a new quarterback in the offseason. We have really great wide receivers and decent defense and it was enough of a change enough of a roster move that for the first time in about a decade decade and a half that i wanted a jersey an nfl jersey and i actually got it but i had to return it because it was narrow in the shoulders but now that the way that they're playing i don't know if i want another jersey but Maybe just a Broncos hat would be enough, I guess. So, this was one. 
I thought the Broncos were going to be good. Yeah, it's going, I mean, I don't have a Broncos orange hat, necessarily. Or, kind of like a plain one. I do have an, an orange Broncos hat, but it's like the City Connect, where it's, it's their L logo element, sorry. But it's not the regular logo, so I figured I'd get a, an orange hat. Um, kind of a little bit duller of an orange than I thought, like being like a little bit more neon-ish, but that, that's fine. Um, I mean, I do, now that I'm looking at it, I do have a, an orange Broncos hat, but, but was like, that's more of a stretch fitted 3930. Uh, this is just a simple standard dad hat from 47 brand, so, yep. So the other one here is making me nervous, where I know it's another City Connect hat, I've got two because I want to catch up. I want to get all the City Connect hats, or at least as many as I can get. I'm kind of wary about getting the Dodgers hats, because I don't like the Dodgers, and it's a really, really shitty hat. So we'll see about that one, maybe down the road. Um, but, yeah, so this one is another City Connect hat. Alright, so this one is also low profile and, and in 5 ace. So, let's see how this turns out. Angels. So, I thought this was a cool design. God, there's so many freaking stickers on the bottom. Um... So I like the low profile because it's the, the brim's already bent. So, you know, why do the extra work to bend your brims when you can buy them bent already? Curved, sorry. Um, fuck. This one fits snug. Like, in a good way, where I can... Maybe it's because my head came out of the shower and all the steam and humidity kind of expanded it. I know it sounds weird, but I have a theory that that might be the case. Um, because in the summertime, my head is usually a little bit bigger. Um, yeah, this one is... Yeah, and, and it's Bangladesh, because I also had also figured that, while being Bangladesh, that, you know, it just size up then. So, but... I don't know, this is really weird. Um, that it's like that. So, this one will be easy enough to stretch out. Where was this one? I could try a, a Stankies uh, to try to um, shorten it up, but I'll have to see if uh, Macy's has these in a, in a half, seven and a half. But, I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. If you're getting a, a hat, just to get a hat to fill the collection, knowing that you might not wear it as much, would you really make that big of a fuss about it? So, um, I do eventually, I know the regular season is over. Um, I do want to, originally I wanted to get the Angels hat and another hat from this year from the City Connect hats because um, I wanted to do like a ranking because like I can get all the hats this year and I mean do I like Houston? No, but their hat was good. So I have the Nationals. I now I have the Angels. I have a Rockies, but it's not the official Rockies one. It was like a fashion version that I got from Joel Full Count Studios. Um, so, but this one I I wanted to get because. It, these are hard. These are some of the harder ones to get. These and the Astros are hard to get. So by the end of the year, I wanted to do like a ranking of the uh, City Connect hats for 2022. So, um, so yeah. All right. So that's the uh, video today for unboxing. We'll take care of that other box that disappeared eventually another day. And uh, let me know in the comments down below your City Connect hats that you like here. Uh, 
what team this year is going to be hard to watch for the NFL because the Broncos, I think for anyone, is going to be hard to watch because they've just been so bad. This one's going to be more frustrating because like, I know the Bears are going to suck. That's the thing. I don't have expectations for them. This is going to be a regular season, but the Broncos, like, we got freaking Russell Wilson, but can't throw shit. Can't move the ball down the, the, the yard. Down the field, I don't know, whatever. And any uh, hockey predictions? Uh, the the uh, hockey season just started uh, officially last night. Um, I'm kind of thinking Florida and the Florida Panthers and New York Rangers would come out of the East to win. And I think one of those teams is going to win the Cup this year. Uh, out of the West. I'm thinking someone from the Battle of Alberta, either Calgary or Edmonton. So those are my four teams. Uh, one of them will win the Stanley Cup this year. Um, my crazy pick for the Stanley Cup would be the um, the Ottawa Senators and the Vegas Golden Knights. So and uh, Go Knights. So. Uh, leave a, of course, always leave a comment, and always love hearing from the students. And uh, as always, hats off to you for watching. I'll see you next time in class, everyone. Class is dismissed. Bye, everyone.